Landy of Richmond, Tony Morwood of the Swans. Oh, that's mark of the day, just about. To the action of Friday night, Mark McClure of Carlton. Where did McClure come from? Certainly did. Peter McConville of Carlton. Flying high, that door, there's Billy and Mark. His teammate, Peter Rode. Rode, oh, is it a mark? He takes the free. And another Carlton star, David Rhys Jones, who had a wonderful night. To yesterday's action, Mark Harvey of Essendon. In the front is Harvey, and Harvey comes down with the mark. Paul Vanderhaar of Essendon, playing game 150. That is long, that's a well played Couple from Gary Pert, there's the first coming in from the side. Long kick towards half forward. And the second. And Pert, that's a great mark by Gary Pert. A pretty good looking. There's the Swans, Tony Morwood. I think has been taken. To centre Fitzroy's Philip Knight, juggles one in the middle. Once again, the kick from Scott. Richard Osborne. Osborne! Takes the mark from behind. Another one kick. from the, the Swans, Tony Morwood. It's a nice kick. And Gary Pert of Fitzroy. Pert, oh, that's a lovely mark to Gary Pert. He's really out of it. Neil. Gary Ablett of Geelong. For a mark. Hooks it back. Footscray's Steve McPherson. And Steve McPherson. A lovely mark taken by Steve McPherson. Another player that hasn't done a great deal today, Steve McPherson. Down to Moorabbin. David Grant. And Grant again for St Kilda. For the Tigers, Philip Egan. Back for the Saints, Silvio Faschini. His teammate, Terry Smith. Here's Philip Egan again. The Saints, Danny Frawley. His teammate, Andrew Manning. And let's finish off with three from Melbourne players. Firstly, Stephen Ick, John Fidge, and Daryl Burke. So, gentlemen, plenty of marks. What are your thoughts? Well, Crackers, we'll go to you first this week because you've got some friends from your hometown here. Yes, they did. they've come down and have a look at the show. But the yeah, all around there, Yarrawonga around there, used to dance with one of the girls. Yes, yeah, yeah. she's been. She has been consulting an orthopaedic surgeon <laughs> for the last 25 years. <laughs> oh no, I like two of Gary Perth's. I reckon they were both good, really good marks. Tony Morwood was a very good mark, and uh, McConville's because it was such a gutsy mark, and he really kept his eye on the ball. But uh, and Ablett was great again, Bob. Did you make your mark at the convent dancing school, Cracker, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Peter, our cabin at least. Well, I must agree with Crackers. I certainly did like Gary Ablett's mark. Uh, Tony Moore, as I thought, against Richmond was outstanding the way he came over the top. Gary Pert's first mark caught my eye, Bob. But uh, I must agree with Peter. I thought Peter McConville's uh, mark on Friday night was the best one of that group. Yes, well, I, I liked Rhys Jones's mark. Pert, for his athleticism, it was magnificent. Ablett, once again, but of course... Uh, Ma the fellow McConville, McConville really moved back into the and we well, let's see it again because he's kept his eye on the ball as you can see there all the time he's in bad position he's got to leap backwards but he's got his eye on the ball he's brought it all the way to the ground Peter McConville certainly wins the mark of the day the world of sport mark of the day was brought to you by Nissan who will present $100 to today's winner the mark of the year winner will receive a luxury Nissan Pulsar GX hatch